the insurance company is going to pay you that value shown on the declarations page. So that's that's the, the probably the biggest buzzword in boat insurance. Hey everybody, we're back for some more insurance boating tips. I've got Jake Hill from uh, New Coast, who's the director of boat insurance. You guys have been dumping in questions to us, and so we're kind of picking through these. Another one, a great question is, do different boat types require different types of insurance? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Um, a good boat insurance policy is gonna be an agreed value policy that covers the boat motor, and if there is a trailer, the trailer itself. You may wanna get a little bit different coverage once you get into um, the, the larger yachts um, where you're gonna have crew coverage, um, you're gonna have paid crew. So anytime there's an exchange of money to yeah. someone, uh, then you need crew coverage. That, that is a little bit different, but um, I'd say for probably 95% of the boats out on the water, what you're looking for is an agreed value policy that's gonna pay the, the full value shown on the declarations page with no depreciation if there's a total loss. So- um, From the day, like the, what you bought it for. The that's day, correct. The day you, yep. the full, 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 full ticket. Yep, and it's very much unlike car insurance where you know you hear the, the, the stories about you drive it off the lot and the, the, the car depreciates right. immediately by 25%, whatever. Um, although there, uh, depreciation certainly occurs on boats, the agreed value nature of the boat insurance policy says that it doesn't matter how much the boat is worth, as long as you keep on renewing that policy year in and year out, if you have a total loss, the insurance company is gonna pay you that value shown on the declarations page. So that's that's the, the probably the biggest buzzword in boat insurance is, is agreed value coverage. So seven years down the road, mm -hmm it's gonna go back to what I paid for it That's on correct. day one. Yeah, and, and most insurance companies, they they will not reduce that value unless you request it. So every time you get your renewal, if it still says you know $100,000 gotcha. agreed value, then you, although you're paying premiums on agreed value, that's what you'll get in the event of a total loss. Cool, I like this, I'm learning all kinds of things. <laughs> so <laughs> I hope you guys are too. And uh, as usual, I sign off with see you on the water, but also drop your comments down below Click, like, subscribe, do all that kind of stuff, and uh, I will see you out on the water. Thanks, guys.